How to lose weight safely and naturally when the struggle is real. When it feels like all you do is diet and try different things to lose weight, this video will show you how to lose weight safely and naturally. I'm going to share with you the strategies that have helped many people finally get rid of those unwanted pounds. In order for something to work as a long-term solution, it needs to be easy enough for anyone to follow. And that's what I've created in this video, an eating plan full of healthy foods that delivers results without the struggle. If you find value and encouragement with this video, please support Flat Belly for Fun channel by subscribing. If you're looking for a way to start losing weight, it can seem intimidating. Most people have trouble because they don't take it seriously enough or sabotage themselves by making bad decisions. In this video, I'll be giving advice and tips on how to lose weight in an easy manner. You need to keep in mind that this video is only an overview based on research and is for information and educational purposes only. It's not medical advice and it's not intended to be. It should not be substituted or interpreted as medical advice. Before you make changes to your diet or exercise routine, please consult your primary care doctor or health care professional. Do not follow this advice if you're pregnant or nursing. It's much better to be safe than sorry. There's nothing wrong with blowing off a little steam. One great way to do this is by doing cardio before you even get your first meal, as the research indicates that you'll lose more calories this way. Try waking up to a jolt of cardio before you eat. It's easy, it's quick, and best of all, it works. You'll get to where you can't wait for your morning workout to start your day off with a little bit of extra energy and motivation. Plus, when you wake up early enough in the morning, you're more likely to burn calories than if you waited until after breakfast or noon. Some days, you just want to have a day off and eat things that are not on your diet. And if you don't allow yourself these small treats, then it will only lead to breaking your diet. On an off day, you can eat your favorite cheat food. You'll feel better about the diet and be able to stay on track for the other days of the week or month. You know what? It's not really a surprise that people on diets have snack days. They need to keep themselves sane and they're just setting up limits for themselves. The best thing to do is ask yourself if the off day will actually help you in the long run or if it'll just be an excuse to fall off your diet. If you're overweight, consider weight loss as a way to ease joint pain. You'll be able to jump and play with your kids without feeling the aches and pains that come with reduced mobility. If you begin making healthy changes for your life, your body will thank you. Losing weight can minimize the pressure and strain on your joints. That said, don't jump straight into more radical chemical treatments before giving this one a try first. Sometimes all it takes is changing up what we do for our bodies to really reap the benefits. It's important to understand the concept of nutrient density. The reason it's important to understand the concept of nutrient density is because traditionally, you'll find the most nutrients per unit weight or volume on any nutritional label. Truly, the nutrient density is a head of romaine lettuce is quite impressive. With just 100 calories, it's easy to see why many people turn to this green for their daily dose of vitamins. While eating a head of lettuce may not be your thing, we can learn a lot from research. The findings are that the most nutrient dense foods based on calories, not weight, will help with losing weight and getting a flat belly. You don't have to be a fitness guru to know the pain of trying and failing to eat healthy. One easy trick that you can try is not eating for two hours before bedtime. This way you won't overeat and consume extra calories when your body wouldn't feel hungry anyway because it's asleep. It's really important to get enough sleep so you can lose weight. If you don't, then your metabolism will slow down and make you tired. When you're tired and need more energy, it's easy to give in to the temptation of a calorie-laden snack. However, resist. Getting enough sleep each night will help you have more energy without the added calories. Most people don't realize how much smoking keeps you from losing weight. Quitting is not easy, but it can't hurt. Many people disagree and think that if you quit smoking, you'll actually gain weight. But when you quit smoking, you'll have a lot more energy for working out. Smoking might suppress your appetite, but if it's sucking away your energy too, then it doesn't seem like such a good deal now, does it? Studies have shown that adding spiced pepper to your food can help you lose weight. This spice actually increases the amount of calories you work off each day and keeps you from feeling hungry between meals. Successful weight loss is not easy. Not only do you have to avoid the temptation of fatty foods, 
but you also have to make sure that your diet provides enough vitamins and nutrients for your body. Successful weight loss is not easy. Not only do you have to avoid the temptation of fatty foods, but you also have to make sure that your diet provides enough vitamins and nutrients for your body. But with these tips and advice outlined in this article, weight loss can be a successful endeavor that lasts. I hope you found this video helpful and encouraging. I also hope you got a few good ideas. Please support this channel by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. We've included a free cheat sheet on fat burning foods. The link is down in the description. Go and get your copy. Thank you for watching.